Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong. Thanks for watching this segment. Today I'm going to talk about my altitude tent. I just got it. Haven't even opened it up yet. I talked to Brian and uh, they're at uh, Hypoxico and he helped me to understand what I needed to do to get ready for Leadville 100. Now some of you might think this is a little extreme, which it is. That's just my personality. So the more you see and you understand me, the more you'll get to know I kind of love to do things and love to go big or go home. So anyway, um, this tent will cover my bed upstairs and then it's got a generator which is right here. We're going to open this up and uh, I haven't looked at anything in here. I bought some certain things to make sure that I had everything I needed to train with and to uh, be successful with this type of training. Now those of you that have used a altitude tent or have, have one or have you know knowledge on these, I would love to find out more from you and learn everything I can about uh, different things I can do with this. So as I open this up, you're gonna see stuff right along with me, so hopefully uh, we have a lot of fun here. So packaged pretty well. All of a sudden, first thing we see is this little uh, brochure, at home tent, extra large, altitude training, um, instruction manual. So let's kinda set this aside for a second and uh, dig in here a little bit. Looks like we've got some sort of styrofoam. And if we look inside there, looks like we've got ourselves a, uh, a generator or uh, you know something that's gonna pump all the oxygen, I guess. Now, I'm not sure the best way to, to get this out. I don't know if you can just lift them out, how heavy it really is, or if you probably should cut the sides of the box down. Um, so what I'm going to try to do is just lift this sucker out of here. So uh, hopefully this isn't uh, too heavy. But here we go. All right, that's out. We've got some hose in there. Put that aside. We got some uh, other hose that we have in there and some more hose to extend out, I think, the uh, generator so it can go further. And then uh, I'm not sure what this is. I'm sure we'll find out. And uh, some other kind of cool stuff. So there's box number one. We'll set it aside. Yeah, I got one more box. Xander's here helping me out today. So if you haven't got to know Xander in previous videos, this is Xander and dad's not been good today. He hasn't got him out of his PJs yet. Okay, watch out, little dude. Where's my small bike in it? Your small bike's in here? It's my, it's my, it's my bike. Your bike? You love bikes, don't you? Is my bike in there? I don't think your bike's in here, no. Nope, I think this is going to be uh, some more stuff from for, for the tent. For me? Nope, not for you, for Daddy. Oh. You're going to get in the tent with me? Yep. Okay, cool. So, looks like this is the actual uh, tent itself. So, um, pull it out. So that'll be the tent. We're going to set that tent up up uh, in my room and see what we can get figured out. So anyway, stay tuned. Once again, altitude tent and uh, do some uh, training with it. Um, I'm going to do some more videos on exactly what I'm doing and why I'm doing all this kind of stuff. But the whole reason I'm doing Leadville is I've had it on my bucket list for three years. And uh, I put in for the draw, never got in, never got in, never got in. Finally, um, I'm doing what's called the CEO challenge. So lucky enough to have a business that uh, qualified for that and it's gonna be lots of fun. And it's just been one of those things I wanna check off. So I'm trying to do everything I can to make sure I'm ready and prepared for that race. So we'll talk to you soon, we'll check back with you. So hey, we finally got it all set up in the room and uh, it took a little bit of work to get everything all put together. Um, 
We didn't have any instructions on how to put the tent together, but we are Boy Scouts, so we figured it out pretty easy. And uh, it was pretty self-explanatory. It fits really well here in the room. Um, as you can see, it doesn't really fit the decor, but that's okay for a short time period. Um, and I'm really excited to do Leadville, excited to do Lodija, and I'll keep you up to date on how this is working for me and kind of the plan that I'm gonna do. I don't know if you know, but I live in a little town called Rigby, Idaho. And so we're about 5,000 feet anyways. So I've got a good start on this and uh, we're gonna kind of ramp it up. I don't know what my recovery time will be like, you know, being at higher elevations and sleeping in it, but uh, we're gonna give it a go. So stay tuned, hope you like this video. I hope you like all the stuff and uh, we'll be talking at you real soon.